Hi everyone! This Hello. is Tova. I'm very happy to introduce you to her. We're going to do a little bit of an interview. She has a lot to say about Tichel Tying and we just want to share it with all of you. So Tova, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, how you met me, or <laughs> where you live, all that? Um, I live in Baltimore um, and uh, I'm a hospice social worker. I've been working in hospice, I think, for 11 or 12 years, and mm -hmm. a long time. Uh, definitely feel like it's a calling. Um, I have a, a family, thank God, a beautiful family, uh, and uh, we lived here for a while, and then I moved to Passaic, uh, met my husband, had four kids, and came back. Wow. And how long have you been back now? Uh, we came back in 2011, so... Uh, so came back. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we met you, because... Yeah. Uh, I had been affiliated with the same uh, show that you were affiliated with, and um, when I came back, we met at yeah. Yeah, So Tova has a lot to share with you about um, her job and how people have reacted to her wearing these. This is what she wore to work today, right? <laughs> this is what you wore. Yeah. Um, and also about her personal style and why she wears tickles with such beautiful height. Um, so how do people, first of all, you have job interviews, right? Yeah. How do people react to, do you show up in what you're wearing right now, or do you no. show up in something else? Mm. So I um, I have very strong feelings about this, because, um, you know, I work in a very professional environment, I work in an inter interdisciplinary team, and by going to patients' homes, I go to nursing homes, assisted livings, um, I really represent the hospice as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I need to be professional, so mm -hmm. I don't think that, that my tuckles are not professional, but I think that when I'm going on an interview, um, I really want to be anonymous. I don't want them to know I'm an Orthodox Jew. I don't want them to know that many personal things about mm -hmm. me. I don't tell them about my kids or my family. I keep certain things personal and private. Because it has nothing to do with Because it has, yeah. it has nothing to do with my interview. But the problem is with being an Orthodox Jew is that, you know, we take off early on Fridays in the winter. And there are certain days, like in the fall, when we take a lot of vacation days. And I'm worried, you know, that there may be some sense of discrimination or I don't want to work with an Orthodox Jew. So I I really want to be anonymous so I used to joke that I have a uh, hair in a drawer <laughs> and I take out my hair for the interview but just like I put on a little makeup which I usually don't wear mm -hmm. and I put on a sort of a different kind of clothing maybe a little, little, little less colorful a little less funky than I usually would wear and mm -hmm. come a little more conservative a little more toned down because I don't want uh, them to get distracted or have a, an opinion about me mm -hmm. about who I am uh, before they really talk to me and get to know me. Now, once they've made a job offer and they tell me about, you know, what's going on, I'm happy to say, oh, by the way, I'm an Orthodox Jew and this is what it means. And then I can be certain that they've not withheld an offer because they thought, oh, I don't want to work with an Orthodox Jew or yeah. they have ideas about who we are and what we do. So this, I mean, the thing is, even though they're not allowed to discriminate against you, you don't want the way you adjust to create a barrier on right. that first impression. I want to have a neutral, you know, I want to have a neutral first impression. You know, like they say, you should wear a suit and you should wear makeup and you, you know, yeah. I like just think like I want to, I, I want to be completely toned down. I want to be, prof you know, not just professional, but like let, no, I don't want anything to give them an impression that would turn them away. I want just them to know about my skills and my abilities so that they judge me on my, my abilities, not on who they think I am. That's beautiful. So then after you got the job offer, then what happened? Ah, so that's interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, it's really funny because, like, if you see a history of the places I've worked and you see my IDs, they're all a picture of me in a wig. And you're like, oh, really? yeah, because <laughs> it's the God. first day. So <laughs> I go to work on the first day and they're like, welcome, let's take a picture of you and let's put it on your, your ID. And, um, and the first day I always wear a wig because um, I haven't had the conversation yet. So oh, I go in the, yeah. the conversation. Yeah. So I go in on the first day and I say, you know, um, I'll, I'll say to my boss when there's a quiet moment, I'll say to her, you know, this, um, this hair, she'll be like, yeah, I'm like, it's not mine. <laughs> it's oh. someone else's. I bought it. She's like, really? I'm like, yes, I'm covering my hair. She's like, oh, it's such a nice hair or this and that. And I'll say, but you know, I'm really not comfortable. It's not really who I am. So I just wanted to talk to you before I came in, in a scarf. And so the next day I'll wear a scarf, but it maybe not, might not be my turquoise sparkly yeah. most creative so them on, I weave them yeah. slowly 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 yeah. so they can see who the real me is and um, 
I had a good experience where I had a supervisor who used to compliment me and tell me how much she liked the scarf. So, oh. um, you know, and I feel like when I go out into the world and I present, as long as I'm presenting a, a put together look, as yeah. long as I am professional and, um, you know, I'm coordinated and I'm tucked in and, you yeah. know, um, you know, that my colors match and I don't look sloppy or inappropriate. It, it, it presents a professional look. I can be a little boho or a little creative yeah. or funky, but as long as I'm put together. So you were mentioning earlier that like for you, put together doesn't necessarily mean not being colorful. Oh yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, put together, I, 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 I'll wear orange or bright green or, or pink or I have no problem with colors, green and turquoise. I love colors. Yeah. Um, but, um, but it has to be that it's coordinated and it's matching and that, um, you know, that it, if, if, if it's a whole package and they see that things come together. One thing I love about tickles is that I feel like um, if I have a, a wide variety of tickles that sometimes I'll put a different combination together and I feel like I'm wearing a new outfit it's when true, I do that. So yeah. if I can put that on, I get the confidence and the, the that kind of good feeling of that first day new outfit, like every day. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, too, no, I, I totally feel that way. I don't Such think a, I've worn the same outfit since I started covering my hair ever. Like the tickle with the, the clothing. Tickle pulley, yeah. Right. So it's a creative process. So you know, like when you go to the store and you buy a new skirt or you buy a new sweater or something and then you come home and you can't wait to put it on um, the screen went blank uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay. um, the, that you you know you come home and you want to put it on yeah. um, I, I feel like every day I feel that way because I get dressed and I stand before my scarves and I have them like um, I have them on the wall all oh, hanging yeah. up so I can like stand before them and go like oh I want one of there and I want one of these and I want one of that and I like put it together yeah. and create something when I have time of course yeah. <laughs> uh, then uh, it feels like I'm doing something that's fun and exciting so how, first of all, how have your patients reacted? Did, do you get any reactions? So, you know, that? sometimes I have cancer patients, and we'll talk about head covering. Yeah. Um, I have had that uh, before, um, but most of the time it's a non-conversation. It just yeah. doesn't come up. We don't, nobody says something. Sometimes they'll tell me it's pretty or they like it. If I have a, a long-standing relationship with the family, it may come up more mm -hmm. because then we're like a little bit more personal and talking for like maybe six months or a year mm -hmm. and like we've developed a little bit of a rapport. But I can say on the families or patients that I've worked with, like, you know, that I, I don't have as much of a long-standing. It's been a non it just it's like it doesn't exist. You're just Tova. Like, I'm just Tova. It's who I am. And yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I will tell you that I, you know, I go into nursing homes and there's a lot of people who notice me more than I notice them That's because true. I am this woman covering You're her colorful. hair. I'm, yeah. I'm wearing these colors and, uh, and I'm distinctive. And so uh, I remember one day I was like having a really bad morning and I threw on like a, like a newsboy cap, you know, and I yeah. ran out the door and somebody like a housekeeper or somebody in the nursing home was like, Hey girl, where's your wraps? And I was like, I was running out of the door I had no idea who she was couldn't tell you her name but she knew who I was because I was the lady who came on a regular basis and I wrapped my hair in a fun way and when she saw me it was interesting to her to, to see and sometimes I'll get like from a resident like I told you today I went to yeah. see a patient and one of the residents said oh wowzers <laughs> wow. he's like wowzers I was really funny yeah. so I do get sometimes like the, the uh, like an expression that they like it or something yeah. just like anybody else I think on an outfit that somebody thinks is attractive Beautiful. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. Um, so I wanted to ask you, I mean, you have a very distinctive way of wearing your tickles. Yeah. And since I've met you, always like do the layers perfectly and like with a lot of height. So can you tell me like, first of all, have you always worn scarves this way? <clears throat> so um, I, I have worn, um, I, I've always worn height. Um, yeah. Because, um, well, I can tell you why, but I, I, since I got married, when I got married, I lived in a community where it was much more normative to have a wig. So I, like all the girls, went and got a wig, and then I put it on after I got married, and it felt awful. Really? Didn't feel like me. And I was like... It probably looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it looked pretty. It was a $2,000 wig, but oh. <laughs> it didn't feel good, oh. and it didn't feel like me. And uh, I remember a good friend said, like, listen, if it doesn't feel like you, then take it off. Then mm -hmm. you don't need to, to do this. Like, you, you need to make sure that you're comfortable with the, the mitzvah exactly. and not necessarily do something that everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. So I did start wearing scarves, and I found them in Marshalls. I have just, like, bright pink stripey one I found in Marshalls or in Ross or, you know, um, everywhere I went, I would look you for a scarf. Yeah, I went to Israel for a year and a half. We went shopping in Israel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a great place to find 
went to Hoss. Yeah. And, um, I, and I, sometimes I went to African stores and hippie mm-hmm. stores. And, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I had before Rapunzel, I think one thing that Rapunzel taught me was to put my, my bun higher. Mm-hmm. But I used to have a lower bun. And I didn't have, of course, the, I mean, I, I, before Rapunzel, I did get the, um, the velvet headband. The velvet headband sort of saved the day. Word to the <laughs> word to the velvet hat the head. <laughs> um, but I uh, I would have a lower bun and I would have I would make sure that my tails came up here so that I had height because mm-hmm. I always believed because I have a very round face mm-hmm. and because of my very round face I always believed that it was important that I should have flat on the sides and height on top because then it made my face look more oval yeah. and if my face had like something too flat on top like sort of like what you're wearing yeah, exactly. you know it would make me look more round I would look more like a ball that I wanted to like deceive everyone by having this height just on top that my face was more egg shaped or oval shaped and the height sort of gives you that visual perception, even though it's not true. No, but it's true. <laughs> like, I actually purposely tried to put volume on my sides because my face is angular. Right. And, and my I nose look... is angular, and I want, so I want to look rounder. If so. you put me in, you know, like, I see all these gorgeous women with these braids. If you, I've, I've tried it a couple times to take my tails and make a braid and put it over, and I look at myself, and I'm like, oh, you look like a bouncy ball. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't leave the house. Don't do it. And then one day, like, there's, like, this whole crisscross thing, you know, where you, like, crisscross all the way back. Yeah. And I tried to do it, and it was too flat because the crisscross is really the the goal is for flat. And the flat looks really awful on me. So I this is my modified crisscross for my – Well, you've done the angle. I I did. No, I can do the angles, but one thing – this this is – this is – my, what I call my underwear. <laughs> so shh, don't tell anyone. But this is my, um, it's a pashmina that I basically wear. I, I used to wear the, um, I was trying to wear the, the shaper, but the problem with the shaper for me is when I'm in the car because I'm driving around to see patients all day, it's so uncomfortable because yeah, it like hits the back of the seat in a certain way. So I have a pashmina always underneath, and I think of it as my underwear and as my frame because it frames my face. Exactly. And I put one of the pieces for the, one of the tails goes right here, mm-hmm. and one of the tails goes around my bun. Now, I will confess I have a lot of hair. Okay. So I'm wearing a new fast, I'm not wearing a scrunchie, yeah. you know, and sometimes I'll even wear one of those bun shapers, Enhancer you know, enhancers, but I have but you hair don't that's need, like, the... d- down to here, and it's pretty thick. So I put it in a big pony, and then I put the scrunchie around, and mm-hmm. then it's like a, you know, when, when I put the um, pashmina on, and again, I wear pashmina for the volume as much as the frame. Yeah. I put the pashmina, I put one piece here and then one piece in the back here so that it fills my, um, it you know, shapes my, my bun. And the one here, <clears throat> when it has a tickle over it, you can't tell that it's there, Not but it gives me a slight incline and then, <laughs> <laughs> and that incline gives me the height without it looking like it's too bulky. Exactly. Because that's the point is I don't want it to look like I have all this bulk on the top, but I need Amazing, it to be yeah. bulky. So then this tickle is yeah. the sparkly one. Yeah. Um, goes what I put over the whole thing. And I do that regularly. Like my second tickle will be over it. And then I decide, like, do I want sparkly headbands or sparkly? You know, because this is a headband. This is a pashmina. And then this is, of course, the our favorite shimmeries. And this yes, is just <laughs> the deal shimmery. And then this is just a, um, a sash. Yeah. And, and um, you know, one thing but I you, also... So I just want you haven't folded it in a way that, like, that makes it flat. You no, I don't. It, no, don't no, no I'm not that. trying to make anything flat. As a matter of fact, the opposite. I'm always trying to bunch it so that it looks higher. Like, underneath this black and white one are the tails for my ah. shimmery, which you can't see. Yeah, they're right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my tails for my shimmery yeah. to give it more height. <laughs> It's so it's all about how to give it height without looking messy or sloppy or too. So this this one sort of hides the fact that I, I have it, but it still goes like up. And then I um I, one thing I really like to do is it here? Yep. Is I like yeah. to um I like to put on things. I think of the chuckle the process as framing. So yeah. this piece is like separates the teal from the the pattern, and it like 
it's like a frame, like a border that you would put around a picture. So I think of the tichel as like a little bit of a picture, and how can I separate the colors and let each thing stand out? That's beautiful. And you were also talking about how it frames your face as well. Oh, right. So I also am very conscious about where it is on my forehead. Like if it's too low, I look really frumpy and really round. So it has to be high, and it can't be like a straight line here. It needs to be a curved line. Yes, a look more square. It has to be a curved line. Again, trying to get that oval look. I'm always trying to get the oval look. So it starts with where it lies on my forehead and and um, where it lies on my forehead and what shape it is on my forehead. And it's also about how to have flat height. Flat height. Wow. <laughs> flat height. Like <laughs> non-messy. Non-messy. No, because you want to look professional and put right. together, but you also want to get the height. Right. It's incredible. Well, I've learned so much because like literally like the techniques you're talking about, I don't know how to do them. No, but I know how to do this. I, uh-huh. If I did this, I, I tried doing what you've done, and I look, ter- I look actually uh-huh. like angular and, and mean, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and my nose looks like a hawk. So <laughs> don't, don't go there for me. But that's the thing that's special is that each person, yeah. whatever they look like or whatever face shape they have, they can bring out their features and look attractive and feel yeah. pretty. Like I feel when I go to work this way, when I do it, I feel sparkly. I feel ex- I feel ready to, to face the world. I feel like it's so the way that I, um, it gives me confidence. It gives me, I feel like it's an expression of, you know, mm-hmm. myself. And I feel like, um, I don't know, just like a, a lighter person. I feel more connected to Hashem that I'm, mm-hmm. I'm doing my, my, the mitzvah of covering my hair with excitement, with creativity, with beauty. And it's interesting and, and like fun. Tova. You're doing it, <laughs> no, you're doing it not like yeah, you're doing it like, like me, Tova. right? And that's really important. Like, I, I, and I think you've, we've made this very clear in this video is that we don't want someone with a completely different face shape from me to look at me and it's like, oh, I want to do that because it might look terrible, right? And I don't want to do what you do because right. it's going to look awful on me as well. And you, so I think the point of this video is to really encourage women to find what works best for that. And you know, I, I always jokingly say, like, I go through the route Rapunzel said, I love seeing the tichel of the day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because I take a little piece from every person, like, oh, this person did this, oh, I'm going to take it in this way. But I, I still incorporate it in my own style. Exactly. Because my own style has to, um, I have to be conscious of what my colors are, mm-hmm. conscious of what my face shape is, and who, where I'm going, where yeah. who I'm going to encounter, what's going to happen if I go to a wedding, if I'm going here, because I wear tichels everywhere. Yeah. Weddings, jobs everywhere yeah. and so she I, <laughs> yeah. she's been there yeah. um, so that uh, I have to uh, be caref- careful of all th- I have to think of all of those things so when I look I think like oh you know like I can take this from this person I can take this from this person but still do it in my way in wow yeah. beautiful thank you so much Tova you're welcome okay thank you everyone bye, bye.